video. What? It's 3.32 in the afternoon and I still haven't made a YouTube video for February? Oh my god, I must be out of my mind. Well, better get on that. So here it is, February's YouTube video. Now what are we looking at this afternoon, I guess? Because, yeah, I mean, I, I sort of slept in. It's Saturday. What do you expect? You know, you don't have work. Whatever. The point is, today's video, we are covering yet another Apple product. Now, the inspiration for this was because... As you may know, Angry Video Game Nerd, or as we call him, AVGN, or some people just call him James, but whatever, recently uploaded a video about Majora's Mask. Actually, it was back in December, but whatever. The reason this Apple product is the, the subject of today's video is because when, he, when James was the Angry Nintendo Nerd back in 2006, the first YouTube video I ever watched, actually, was his review of the Power Glove back in November of 06. And even though I didn't have a Mac back then, I was in Best Buy and one of my, and my, my, and I pulled up, I just went on YouTube and I found this on one of these MacBooks in the Best Buy store and I pulled up that video. Now why is that significant? I don't know, but it's significant to me. And so I decided, why the hell not? I found this on eBay for, tw for $50, free shipping, why not? Anyways, so here's what we have. We have a 2000, this is an early 2006 MacBook. This is the 1 comma 1 model. And I gotta say, for a 14 year old laptop, which is notorious for cosmetic defects, this one is in amazing condition for a 14 year old computer. I mean, the lid hardly has any scratches on it. And there's two common cosmetic defects, which we'll get to in just a moment, that this computer does not have. Anyways, let's start by taking a look at it. So one thing you don't see on Apple products anymore is the glowing Apple logo on top. This one will actually glow, which I'll show in just when we boot this thing up. You have the front lid latch here. Just zoom the camera out a little bit. We have the power or sleep indicator LED here. IR infrared sensor here for the uh, Apple remote control, which unfortunately I did not get with this computer, but eh, I'm not going to be really using front row because that's a thing of the past. Got a combo drive out the side here, which means you can read CD, read and write CDs, but can only read DVDs, not write DVDs, or burn DVDs rather. On the back you got your cooling exhaust ports here. On this side, you have your MagSafe adapter here. This was a new thing introduced with the original MacBook Pro. Um, I have a MagSafe 2, I believe it's either MagSafe 1 or MagSafe 2. I always get them confused around, but um, it works with this as well, even, even though it's meant for a MacBook Pro. You've got gigabit ethernet here. You have mini DVI here, which is what you would use to connect this thing to an external monitor. You have a Firewire 400 port here, two USB 2.0 ports here, TRS jacks for microphone in and audio out, Kensington lock here, and then this is where the hard drive would be. So that's a basic look around the 2006 MacBook. Really not that much in terms of I.O., not nearly as much as the MacBook Pro, which was the Pro version of this. Go ahead and open up, open up the lid here and you can see my pants, very lovely. So you have your nice large trackpad here. Yes, it does have two finger scrolling, which is was sort of a new thing introduced with these um, original lines of MacBooks. And of course the single button, which is now integrated into the trackpad, but I actually prefer having the button separate. Um, that's just me though. But getting on with a normal, uh, common cosmetic defect with these computers, which I believe Apple actually uh, had initiated a warranty program for was the, because this is, this is made out of polycarbonate plastic. And what would happen is the plastic here would, would crack and separate, break off from this, from the casing here on both sides of the trackpad. This computer does not have that defect, although here you can kind of see that starting to occur here, but it hasn't happened yet. The other place where this can happen is 
on the LCD bezel up here, the plastic up here around the uh, eyesight camera can also crack and separate. Anyways, this, that, this computer has none of that. So we also have our QWERTY keyboard here, getting back on with, this, with the um, computer. We have the QWERTY keyboard here, nice and white and pearly. These do have a tendency to yellow over time. This one, fortunately, has not. MacBook branding there. I believe this is a 13.1 inch LCD panel that supports up to a 1280 by 1024 resolution. We have a EyeSight camera up here, which I believe is 240p, considering it's 2006, it's probably a 240p camera. And we'll take a look at the bottom because I somehow didn't show that. There, there's only, the only sticker in sight is this Foo Fighters In Your Honor sticker on the bottom, which I have yet to remove gotta find an easy way because they don't these things don't come off easily so uh, anyways and then of course we have the battery which amazingly some holds somewhat of a charge and the bottom is actually the dirtiest I have yet to clean it but uh, at least this computer is in pretty darn good cosmetic condition otherwise let me actually turn the lights on no nah, actually that's worse the natural light will take it from here in addition to the, getting this computer, sans the charger, because I had a charger anyways, I got the original documentation with it, designed by Apple in California, which I'm surprised, I thought they were in Rhode Island, but whatever. So we got the uh, original Mac OS reinstallation discs for OS X Tiger. This is for version 10.4.6, which I did use these to reinstall the OS, I just didn't get it, I just didn't think to get it on camera. but. No worries, because we will, we have another, there will be another video involving this computer, which I will explain at the end of this video. We have the original spec sticker here from the box, which was kind of cool. It's a MacBook, as you can see, MacBook 1, 1, which is the A1181 there, which is the original Mac, which is a 2006, early 2006 model. 1.83 gigahertz processor, two sticks at 256 megs of RAM, so a total of 512 megs of RAM which has been upgraded, as you'll see when we boot this thing up. 60 gig hard drive, which is still in there, and of course a combo drive, white model. Yes, they did make a black color MacBook, so um, that's something I will probably take a look at later. We have this protective sleeve, which I'm not sure what that was originally, what was originally in that, probably these Apple Care services and support guides, because it looks like somebody actually purchased Apple Care. We actually have a thing of the past here. We actually have a user's guide, which actually tells you about your computer. And if you really want to read these, you can, prob uh, you can probably look up a PDF version online, but I won't bore you with that. The software license agreement, which you'll certainly want to read. Sorry, <laughs> I had to do my Jiraga 1 <laughs> impression there. Uh, you got your one year limited warranty. Regulatory certs, Bluetooth certification, software coupons, which you don't get with any Apple products these days, but it gives you a discount on iLife 06 and Mac OS 10.4 Tiger. You fill out the, you'd fill out the backs and then you'd get discounts on any Apple products you purchased in the store. It did come with the Apple stickers, which I really don't use that much, but even on PCs, because I like to keep things, I don't really like putting stickers on products. Anyways, welcome to Tiger. Tells you all about Mac OS 10.4, which was the latest and greatest version of the Mac OS at the time. Basically just tells you about works with Windows, QuickTime 7, all that good stuff. So I got all that, plus I got a carrying sleeve, which was nice of the seller to include that. But, yeah, and the seller was in New Jersey, which happens, New Brunswick to be exact which happens to be, come on camera, focus, which happens to be near where I'm originally from in Morristown. Uh, it's just, it's uh, actually just south of, southeast of Morristown. So yeah, I mean, it's a, a college town. You got Rutgers there, but anyways, we're not here to talk about New Jersey. We're here to talk about the MacBook. Anyways, so I think I've explained pretty much the MacBook's, uh, spe well, uh, basic information about this MacBook. Let's go ahead and boot it up and see what we get. Ah, that boot chime. Never gets old. I wish Apple would bring that back. Because over there is my daily driver, my 2018 MacBook Air. And um, 
it does not have the boot chime. It just feels weird. Jim Reeks was right. It's like when he said, and I quote, when you, it's like when you go to a restaurant, there's no one there to greet you. And if you don't know who Jim Reeks is, he's the guy who made the F sharp chord you hear when you boot up a, uh, an older Macintosh computer. Anyways, here we are, booted it to the desktop. You can really see how quick Tiger was with these, with these early Intel-based Macs. Um, in fact, there's still a YouTube video on there that, uh, on here where um, it shows the difference between a, a G5 PowerPC G5 iMac and a Core Duo iMac, and the Core Duo just annihilates the G5 in terms of, per of uh, speed and performance. Anyways, we'll go ahead and take a look at the specs here. We'll start by going to about this Mac. So we are running Mac OS 10.4.11 Tiger. We have a 1.83 gigahertz Intel Core Duo. This is not the Core 2 Duo. Because this is the original Core Duo, so that means this is an early 2006 MacBook. Um, now the thing is with the Core Duo is it is not a 64-bit capable CPU, meaning the highest version of the Mac OS that this computer can run is Snow Leopard because Lion, which you could run on the Core 2 MacBooks, requires a 64-bit CPU, but the Core Duo here is not a 64-bit CPU. It, is a X80, it executes an x86-based instruction set. As you can see, the original 512 megs of RAM has been upgraded to the max it can take, 2 gigs of DDR2. Go into System Profiler here. And as you can see, we have a MacBook 1, 1. This is the first the first revision of the MacBook after they got rid of the after they, the power books were discontinued. Pause if you want to read that information. This does have Bluetooth because this is not the um, this is not an education model which does not have Bluetooth. Again, pause if you want to read that. Go to disk burning. As you can see, we have a combo drive here because as you, can, as you can see, it says that we can only read and write CDs, but we can read DVDs, but not burn them. Graphics displays, we have the Intel Graphics Media Accelerator, if you don't know what GMA stands for, 950, 64 megs of VRAM, 1280, I'm sorry, the resolution was 1280 by 800, not 1280 by 1024. So um, I believe so. That's our current resolution. I believe that is the max resolution you can have on this computer. Go to memory. We have two one gig modules in there of DDR2 RAM at 667 megahertz a piece. And we'll take a look at the Airport card here, which we have an Airport Extreme card, which is connected to my wireless network. There's no built-in modem on here, but. Do you really need a modem? Did you really need a modem in 2006? Apple didn't think so. Take a look at our hard drive here. As you can see, we have 34 gigs available. So this is about, it's a 60 gig drive roughly. In fact, why don't we get info on the drive rather than opening it? So we'll go to get info. There is our Macintosh HD 60 gig drive. All that good stuff there. So this is a pretty fresh install of Tiger. Uh, as you can see, we do have some of the iLife apps, including iMovie HD, iPhoto, old version of iTunes, probably, I think it's version 6, was what came with Tiger, uh, GarageBand, iWeb, remember that. <laughs> and of course, Photo Booth, can't go wrong without that. Go ahead and take a look in the Applications folder so I can show you some of the applications which would have originally come with this computer. Other than the default Mac OS apps, there really isn't much except for Omni Outliner and the iLife apps, of course, which was specific to this, which were specific to the reinstallation discs. Comic Life, Big Bang board games, which I haven't even tried. These probably don't work anymore if they're internet based because the servers are probably long dead. The battery appears to be holding a charge. This is actually the first time I'm using this computer on battery power. And it's not even telling me to service the battery, so that's kind of interesting. But what I really wanted to show was the internet on here. Because amazingly, it can actually load Apple's website in this old version of Safari. Because I recently updated Safari from version 2 to version 4.1.3, which is the highest version Tiger supports. Made in 2010, as you can see. And yeah, this is what Apple's website looks like in a 10-year-old browser. 
<laughs> Doesn't look too great, but obviously we're going to be putting Snow Leopard on here because that's the highest version of macOS this can run. And with two gigs of RAM, Snow Leopard will probably run just fine. The only thing I would probably do is install an SSD in this thing before we actually, before actually, um, Upgrading to Snow Leopard. One thing I did notice is I think our Bluetooth card may be failing because as you can see up here it says Bluetooth is not available, which probably means that the Bluetooth card in this computer is failing. Um, I have seen that on, on iMac where it had a failing Bluetooth adapter. I'm not really too concerned about it because obviously this machine is just more of a knock around machine because I'm going to be using this for my to record my SpongeBob movie game episodes until I can get a, um, a new capture card because the problem is my old MacBook Pro, when I upgraded it to Catalina, Aver Studio no longer worked. So I needed an older machine that could run Snow, Le at least Snow Leopard, so I could record the episodes. And that's why there's been such a, de uh, a delay in getting the next SpongeBob movie. Well, I have episode eight already recorded, but episodes nine, through I wanna get at least through episode 13 recorded. And that's what this bad boy's for. So hopefully we can accomplish that because I don't think Aver Studio runs on Tiger, but I know it runs on Snow Leopard. So anyways, as far as uh, other things that you might miss about the Mac OS, this is one thing I do miss is Dashboard. I took away the weather app because the servers are down, so I can't really show it. The servers have been taken down. But yeah, this is Dashboard, and you could add all sorts of widgets here. Of course, the website no longer it no longer exists. But all you what you do is you just drag a widget. Uh, say you wanted your address book, you just drag it up here. You got that nice water effect. You want to get rid of something? You just click the X, and it goes away. So dashboard was something I miss about Mac OS. But you know, I mean, at least at least we still have our memories, right? Anyways. So, that pretty much sums it up for this 2006, Mac, early 2006 Core Duo MacBook. I will probably, this is just a uh, introductory video to it. I will probably do a video on upgrading this to Snow Leopard because I made a bootable, just grab it here. I made a bootable Snow Leopard USB stick here, but for some reason, I am not able to boot off of it. I end up getting the prohibitory symbol, and I've tried three different disk images, and they all give me the prohibitory symbol when trying to boot from it. So, um, and I can't, for some reason, disk utility on my MacBook Air doesn't work. It just says it can't unmount or mount the disk, but disk, so I use disk utility on here to do it, but it just hasn't worked. So, I'm almost thinking of just saying screw it and getting a Snow Leopard installation DVD, because, uh, you know, you try to be a pirate and you fail miserably, but hey, you know, can't always get what you want. Anyways, I think that about wraps it up for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys in the next one. Take care.